This video is about reverse chain rule. Assume u is the function of for x. For standard integrals, integral of 1 over x dx equals natural log of absolute value of x plus c. For reverse chain rule, integral of 1 over u times u prime dx equals natural log of absolute value of u plus c. Integral of sin x dx equals negative cosine x plus c. So, reverse chain rule, integral of sin u times u prime dx equals negative cosine u plus c. Standard integral, integral of cosine x dx equals sin x plus c. For reverse chain rule, integral of cosine u times u prime dx equals sin u plus c. Standard integral, integral of e to the power of x dx equals e to the power of x plus c. For reverse chain rule, integral of e to the u's power times u prime dx equals e to the u's power plus c. Standard integral, integral of x to the nth power dx equals x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. For reverse chain rule, integral of u to the nth power times u prime dx equals u to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Let's go to e. First of all, we need to find the u prime. We need to check uh, this uh, polynomial with the higher exponent uh, first. x to the third power minus x prime equals 3x squared minus 1. Then check this uh, 6x squared minus 2. We can take a 2 out. 3x squared minus 1. For reverse chain rule, you need to separate uh, the rational functions. So we have integral 1 over x to the third power minus x times 2 times uh, 3x squared minus 1 dx equals integral of 1 over x to the third power minus x. This is uh, x to the third power minus x prime times 2 dx. We can count these two as uh, 1 over u times u prime. So we will use uh, this uh, formula equals natural log of uh, absolute value of uh, x to the third power minus x. Don't forget this uh, times 2, then plus c. Organize 2 times natural log of uh, absolute value of uh, x to the third power minus x plus c. Let's go to this uh, f. Check uh, u prime. We do know tangent x prime equals uh, secant square x. 
since this is a rational function, let's uh, separate. 1 over square root of uh, tangent x times uh, secant squared x dx equals integral of 1 over square root tangent x times tangent x prime dx. We will change this into power form equals integral of tangent x to the power of negative one half times tangent x prime dx. We got to use uh, this formula now equals tangent x to the power of negative one half plus one all over negative one half plus one plus c organize two times square root tangent x plus c let's go to j whenever you have uh, this e to the power of uh, something you will think of uh, using this uh, formula first step you need to create uh, e to the use power form equals integral of e to the power of negative tangent x times secant squared x dx we do know negative tangent x prime equals negative secant squared x equals integral of e to the power of negative tangent x times negative secant squared x then times negative 1 dx equals integral of e to the power of negative tangent x times negative tangent x prime times negative 1 dx so we got e to the use power times u prime form we got to use uh, this uh, formula equals e to the power of uh, negative tangent x times negative 1 plus c organize negative e to the power of uh, negative uh, tangent x plus c let's go to h we need to create uh, u prime let's try this uh, cosine x prime equals negative sine x we don't have uh, sine x we have uh, sine x to the sixth power so it's not right if you try sine x prime equals cosine x we didn't find the cosine x in the original function we have a 1 over cosine x to the 8th power let's try cosine x to the 8th power prime we will get 8 cosine x to the 7th power times chain rule negative sine x we didn't find uh, cosine x to the 7th power times uh, sine x uh, in the original question which means uh, none of uh, these uh, three are correct then try to change this uh, trigonometry into different uh, form sine 6 power of x over cosine 6 power of x times cosine squared x 
dx. These two equals integral tangent six power of x times one over cosine squared x equals second squared x dx. We do know tangent x prime equals second squared x. We found second squared x in this question, which means we are on the right track equals integral of tangent 6 power of x times tangent x prime dx. Basically, this means u to the 6 power times u prime. We got to use this formula, which is a tangent 7 power of x over 7 plus Say, try to find u prime. We do know cosine x prime equals negative sine x. Since this is a rational function, we need to separate equals integral of 1 over square root of cosine x times sine x dx equals integral of 1 over square root of cosine x times negative sine x then times negative 1 dx equals integral of 1 over square root of cosine x times cosine x prime times negative 1 dx. You need to change this into power form equals integral cosine x to the power of negative 1 half times cosine x prime times negative 1 dx. Basically, this means uh, u to the negative one half power times u prime. You got to use this uh, formula equals cosine x to the power of uh, negative one half plus one all over negative one half plus one. Then times negative one plus c organize negative 2 square root cosine x plus c. Let's go to this uh, k. Since this is a rational function, first step, uh, let's uh, separate. Integral of uh, natural log of uh, x to the third power times 1 over x dx. We do know natural log of x to the nth power prime equals n over x. So natural log of x to the third power prime equals 3 over x equals integral of natural log of x to the third power times 3 over x then times uh, 1 over 3 dx equals integral of uh, natural log of uh, x to the third power times natural log of uh, x to the third power prime times 1 over 3 dx. These two basically means u to the first power times u prime. We will use this formula. We got natural log of x to the third power squared over 2 
times one over three plus c. Let's、uh, organize. Equals one over six times the natural log of、uh, x to the third power squared plus c.